as you can see these are my seeds these are the, the watermelon seeds I've soaked them uh, overnight and uh, in the in the process of breaking the seed dormancy uh, before uh, the first procedure is soaking them in lukewarm water overnight and I've already done that now I want to cover them uh, with a wet towel for the next 24 hours so that by the time now I'm planting them they will have germinated this is my towel this is a towel that I'm going to use uh, to, uh, to cover the seeds with uh, for those who don't understand what seed dormancy is it is the, the, the process that uh, some seeds are subjected to either by the weather condition or the nature of the skin of the seeds or also uh, the storage can also cause seed dormancy. Uh, this, the seed dormancy uh, can make a seed take longer days to germinate. So uh, you have to soak your seeds now in order to break the dormancy. Failure to that, they will take forever to germinate and they want to germinate uniformly. So what you do, as you see, I'm pouring my seeds from uh, the container that I had soaked and soaked them overnight. Already my towel was wet, so that way now I'm pouring them there. And in this towel now they will stay for another 24 hours. Possibly when I'm going to plant them, they will have uh, germinated. The roots will be protruding. So yes, that will be my, this is the first step. Make sure you germinate well and you achieve at least over 95% seed germination. Because that is the first step in in, in uh, watermelon farming. Failure to that, uh, you won't be in a good business because uh, in watermelon uh, the plants count. <clears> Our <throat> first count is plant. Make sure you have a good plant population. Then you manage them well. So what we do? You soak them. Then you cover them using the wet towel. So we cover them well, make sure they are covered well, cover them well, all the seeds make sure they are covered well, make sure they are covered well, as you can see the, the towel is really wet, the towel is very wet. To make sure that you maintain the moisture, you cover the seeds well. Yes, and uh, we we'll, we are going to open them tomorrow. Yes, and I'll show you now after covering them now for the next uh, 24 hours how they will look like when go planting. The seeds will have uh, started germinating and now you'll achieve the best germination and whatever you want. After 24 hours of soaking our seeds, the seeds are now ready. As you can see, they have absorbed water well. Some have also even started producing uh, roots. Uh, they are, they are, some have seen uh, they have started germinating. And this is what I, I told you about uh, when it comes to blinking seed dormancy. If you come and plant them directly here uh, without soaking them, in water they will take longer days or they may fail to germinate but now the condition that we have subjected them to then after this we water them the growth will continue as from tomorrow in three days time they will start germinating but in normal days they take five days and some don't germinate so all the seeds here are rigid for germinating and also when planting you can also see some weak seeds uh, because uh, when planting you use only one seed you'll be able now to differentiate which seed will germinate and which will not germinate because majority of them have swollen yes they have already swollen you can now differentiate the weaker ones and the stronger ones and plant the stronger ones until next time
subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can continue learning together